All right, so we've now got our go-kart. We've just taken the axle off and taken all of the exhaust stuff. You'll see that it's all nice and clean now. We've cleaned all the oil off it. And now we've mounted the seat. We've changed the seating position. We've put a larger seat in it for, um, for teachers and students. And we're going to now change the mounting brackets. You'll see under there you've got these mounting brackets. We're going to change those today and do that now. And then it'll be a matter of creating the mounting points for the batteries, which will be about there in the back, and then creating a guard for the chain. Now we've had the motor mounted onto a bracket, as you can see. So she's all mounted nicely onto a bracket, and we've used the main drive cog. And um, because there's so much torque in the electric motor, we can run a, a big main drive cog and um, almost run one-to-one -one gearing because the torque will push it along. Hopefully, uh, by the end of today, we will see um, the motor mounted nice and square and uh, the batteries nearly mounted in, and tomorrow will be the controller, and hopefully by the end of the week we'll have this finished. What we have here is the battery pack. As you'll see, we've designed it so that when they expand, they can move. So they've got a bit of a concertina effect. So they'll be sitting um, with some rubber stays inside their enclosure so that the rubber can expand and allow it to move, but it won't go bashing around as we go through corners. We've decided to mount the two of them. We were going to mount one in between the legs of the driver, but it's just getting too much of a headache to mount. So as you can see, one, two, and uh, they'll be mounted in today. Now, the construction of them, We've used aluminium because aluminium is actually a really good conductor and you'll see that we've got three in parallel and then we series those groups of three up and what we get is a 30 amp hour, 3 amp cells, uh, 30 amp hour, 3.8 volt cells and we've got 16 of them in series to create about a 50 volt pack. So, alright, now that we had the seat position, we... Uh, knew that we could fit the battery box or at least one battery box behind the seat so we're trying to keep all the weight forward of the back axle so that yeah. so that uh, when it accelerates we don't have any trouble now if you look here we've now welded a bit of plate so that it will support the battery and we had to find four positions to mount the plate so he's welded it across there and the battery is going to go in from there across there we're going to put some um, aluminium across there for it to rest on and that should support both the current pack and the A123 pack when it gets built by our friends in New Zealand. Okay, As we come over now you'll see that there's a new mounting plate that, the, that it sits on and you'll see it here and the other one we're going to drill some bolt holes there and there and it's going to slide along those bolts so we'll see that and the controller has been repositioned to sit here and it will get nice airflow from the front and it will be good. Okay, so we're nearly there and uh, we still might mount the battery out the front here but we'll see. So, I have made up two battery boxes in clear perspex to protect the battery both from the weather and also to house the battery for when it's being shifted around by the g-forces made it out of clear perspex because the battery pack is going to be used for educational purposes and we wanted to be able to show series parallel the design on a battery pack so that the students get an idea of what has to be done. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the sides on it. It's going to have an open top so we can force, fan, force air into it and uh, force uh, and keep them cool. Okay, so as you can see now, I've now put the sides on the box and tapped them all and set them up with Allen keys and you'll see the box now holds all the batteries in place, the batteries don't move. We are going to put some rubber stops in here once it's all together. See how there is some spring still, see how there is some spring still in the case we're going to put some rubber stops in there so it's not rubbing against the perspex and uh, rubbing its way through but uh, yeah you'll see that everything fits quite snugly 
in there. Now, what we're going to do, I'll turn around here. Okay. You'll see here, they have got to bore a hole through the side here, right around there, so that I can put in a, or I might just come down from the top, so I can put in a lug to be able to tap off some power. And down there, another lug, tap off some power, but that's going to be for another day. Alright, so there's one box done. So as you can see, now position the battery pack, first battery pack, first 24 volt battery pack, nice down low, keeping a nice low CG, keeping it forward of the back axle so that we don't get a pendulum effect in the rear, which is what happens with some electric go-karts. The next pack, boom up the front. Alright, I'll position it in and uh, we'll see if it fits well. Okay, you'll see the second pack sits up here at the front. I'm going to be putting more angle uh, around that to support the pack and uh, to secure the perspex too. And it will sit down nice and snug within the perspex and bolt down, uh, nice and snug within the aluminium angle and bolt down. As you'll see over here, we've got some aluminium angle and we're going to cut that up into a little battery box and all our little batteries are going to be nice and snug in that battery box and uh, we might even bolt them down or clamp them down. We're going to bolt them down, but uh, we might even clamp them down from on top just to make sure. Notice that we've left the top exposed. What we're going to do, we're going to allow cool air to go in and come out um, of the battery box. We might even force some air in there. Uh, we'll see yet. But um, hey, it's a beginning. It's a first attempt. And uh, this little go-kart should be quite good. I can lift those batteries in and out without breaking my back quite easily, quite light, and uh, this whole go-kart should really rock and roll. And there it is. Just done. It is about, oh, gee, quarter to nine. Okay, it's quarter to nine on Thursday night, uh, December the, oh, I don't even know, last week before school and our batteries are nearly in. What we're going to do, we're going to support them with that angle now. Put that angle in, create a, a battery box, surround the battery box with rubber. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to write a note on the board to make sure I surround the battery box with about 5mm layer of rubber and that will then determine my battery box size. The battery box size will be determined by my space that I have at the back there and my space at the front, but hopefully I could surround it with the aluminium and surround it with some rubber, which should be perfect, stop it from moving left and right, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, wire it up within, I don't know, another day, and uh, give it its first test run. So yeah, we're very, very close.